Okay, inflation affects housing prices. I have here, I, I put $22,000 down to buy a $236,000 home at the beginning of 2012. And I had a, a $225,000 loan because I put $11,000 down of this 22,000, 11 was down and, and uh, 11,000 was closing costs. So we have here, the equity is 11,000. I owe 225,000 and the value is worth 236. So I have an 11,000 in equity. And of course, now I've, I've lost $11,000. If I were to turn right around and sell the property um, and pay another 11,000 in closing costs, I would completely lose my $22,000. But after a year, the property goes up, was going, it's going, been going up an average of $40,000 a year. And so after a year, I, I have 51,000 compared to the $22,000 I put, I put in the property. I have 132, 132 percent gain then then 314 if you take this amount 91,000 compared to 22,000 I'm up 314 percent well I end up being up 411,000 that's a thousand seven hundred sixty nine percent after 10 years but the percent equity jump of 40,000 as the equity goes up 411,000 is only 11 percent higher than 371,000 from the year before. So as time goes on, the percent of my equity, my jump is going down, even though my percent gain on my initial investment is way up. So this is, you can see the effect of leverage if you have a loan. You're making more money on your initial investment. And so what I did was after, after um, owning this property a couple of years, I refinanced it and bought another one. And after owning it another about three years, I refinanced it and bought another one. So, um, so this actually isn't my, isn't my exact loan. I actually, uh, I, I owe more than this. Um, I owe about double of that, but this is just an illustration to show you that, that if you just sit on the house, eventually you'll have a house paid off and it'll be a great, a great, um, amount of equity compared to your down payment, but it won't be so great um, over time because you're getting a lower and lower percent of the money you have in the property. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.